Hello guys, this is Jack Ops Designs here, bringing you uh, my first ever video, and it's a tutorial. Go to first of all, uh, select your clip here. Go to composition, new composition, width and height to this number here. Change your frame rate to frame per second to this number here. FPS is short for frame per second. Make your duration whatever. I just have mine 15 seconds, but you can change it to whatever you wish. Okay, go okay. Okay, sorry, I can't talk to it. Okay, now uh, this is a real, this is like a 40 minute long clip. So I'm just gonna get the bit that I want in it by going to the end of the clip that I want and splitting it by hitting control, uh, just splitting it, control, uh, shift D. Uh, but anyway, okay, right, so I've got my clip, it's a 360 no scope. But yeah, so what we're going to do is new layer, adjustment layer, effects, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. We're going to put this on about 10. Oh, wait, no, control Z to control Z. And we're going to make a wee mask here by clicking your pen tool, which is the mask tool. Uh, we're gonna make our mask all around the HUD, HUD of display. Make sure you get the kill feed box in though. Okay, now let's go to effects, blur and sharpen, Gaussian blur. Let's put this on 10 again. And you see it blurs on the inside, but we don't want that because it looks like shit. So what we're gonna do, uh, tap MM, double M, and make this subtract so it goes around and looks good and yeah so now what we're going to do is copy this layer click control c control v now you go into the new one click effects and delete it now we go to um blur and sharpen fuck control z out of that go to effect uh, blur and sharpen uh, sharpen. I'm gonna put it. I'll zoom in so you guys can see that it gets sharpened. I'm gonna put this on 10. No way. Have to go into masks. Put it on odd. So if you guys saw it getting sharpened, like, uh, good for you. I just have it on 13. Point, well, never mind. So now we go to layer, new, adjustment layer, effect, this is a really cool effect here, simulation, particle world. So we're going to click grid and turn it to off. Now we're going to go into producer, radius xyz, 1, 1, 1. Ah, now go to physics, change this to twirl, seal velocity by hitting 0. Gravity 0 0.05 looks good. Uh, particle. Uh, we'll go with uh, sexy blue and um, sexy white, of course. And yeah, so so we're gonna click the mask here. So we get most of it. Uh, yeah, whatever. You can just do whatever you want. Could put this on subtract. This actually, it looks like shit now, but when it, in the final product, it looks really, really cool. Uh, so yeah. Now we're gonna go to. Uh, layer, new, adjustment layer, taking away the mask, effect, generate, ramp, uh, and uh, we just put this on black. Now we're going to blend with the original. Yeah, right. 
and now it's out of no, I'm gonna round preview this first. Well, I did something wrong here. I forgot to mouse feather. Uh, uh, we're gonna feather this out here by clicking this, by doing that. We're back in the particle world here. I did something wrong. Oh, here, here's what I did wrong here. I forgot to change the particle settings to faded spear. Yeah, that, that's all I did wrong. Okay, so make sure you might want to replay this a few times in case you didn't get that. Because, yes, it was hard to follow. But, uh, anyway. So we go into color correction now, curves of course, we make it darker, uh, make it a bit more contrast, that looks pretty nice to me. Go away, I want to wake up, go away, close the door. Sorry about my freaky sister there coming in. I think I'm gonna be back in a second here, just have to close the door. Yeah, sorry about that, my, my sister just came in and was annoying me. So what we're gonna do is round preview this by hitting this button here. Uh, it's taken a while, so I'll just pause this while it renders. Okay, it's just round previewed and have a look at this, it looks pretty cool. And you see it fucks up sort of along the line here. So I'm gonna go and find where it fucks up and that's here. And drag this in like so. So yeah, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Oh by the way, uh please don't remember please remember to check out my hang on, uh we're still the tutorial the tutorial's not over yet. Went a lot more things to do in it. But just one more thing basically. Showing you how to do the correct render settings, which can, can confuse you. Check out my other channel, it's got all these gameplays in it. But anyway, back to After Effects. I'm gonna call it a composition, add to render queue, uh, go to uh, output module here. Make sure you click audio output if you want your audio, and then you can choose all these options for it. And then just choose where you want to save it. Just, I'm not going to save it because I don't need to save it and it'll just take up memory and then once you've done all, all this click render and that's all you have to do I hope you enjoy this video tutorial please rem uh, remember to check out my channel it, do it does help me a lot if you enjoyed this tutorial leave a thumbs up and subscribe for more tutorials just comment any problems you had with this and just you know i'm taking request any tutorial you want i'll get it for you guys so yeah thanks for watching